News for Women. Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is July 24th, 2023. Here is the Feisty News for Women. The Oracle Corporation is accused of violating California's Equal Pay Act by allegedly paying female employees $13,000 less per year than men who held similar roles. The class action suit was filed against the largest business software company in 2017 on behalf of 4,200 women who worked in the company's product development, information technology, and support departments. On Friday, a data analyst confirmed that the chance that such a disparity happens by accident is one in one billion. This is no coincidence. This is gender discrimination. In other news, as the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team gets ready to defend the title for a third consecutive World Cup tonight, two of its members are using their time in the spotlight to honor the memory of one of their former teammates who died by suicide last year. 22-year-old Kate Meyer. U.S. defender Naomi Germa and forward Sophia Smith will honor their former Stanford University teammate by partnering with Fox Sports, who have promised to dedicate 1% of its coverage to spotlighting the importance of mental health. According to statistics provided by the American Society for Suicide Prevention, in 2021, there were an estimated 1.7 million suicide attempts and more than 48,000 Americans died by suicide. White males accounted for nearly 70% of suicide deaths in 2021. This society is damaging all of us. And these damaged men are damaging women. These laws that they're creating are hurting all of us. I don't believe this problem is caused by genetics. Suicidal ideation is a social issue that must be addressed by social reform, not drugs. Well, it's time for a break. We've all heard about the pitfalls of menopause, but did you know that the period before menopause can be just as life-changing for women? More when we come back. Don't miss it. Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm on a mission to empower women in the workforce one outfit at a time. When I first started my career as a chemist and a chemical engineer for the government at age 20, my average coworker was a middle-aged male in a business suit. In order to look the part, I had to find the equivalent in women's workwear. That wasn't as easy as it sounded. Back then, there were only two options. The first were high-end boutiques where you could go spend multiple hundred dollars on one piece. Um, this was outside my 20-year-old budget. So what I ended up doing was going to the big box stores or the mall stores uh, where things were more affordable, but they were low quality and often left me looking and feeling frumpy. Because I don't believe any woman should ever have to deal with this struggle, I created Executive by Stephanie, a woman's workwear brand that is affordable, high quality, and made right here in the US. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women. Girl, guess what? Have you ever heard of perimenopause? Well, today we have Rhea, the host of the podcast, The Period Whisperer, to help us understand this unique transition. Rhea, tell us more. What is perimenopause? Hey, T. Erica. Thank you so much for having me on the feisty. I'm super excited to be here today and talk about this. It's a huge topic and 40 million women are going through perimenopause right now with 73% of them suffering so much with different symptoms and not getting the help that they need. And that's likely because 50% of us don't even know the difference between perimenopause and menopause. Now, menopause is really just a single day, 365 days after our last menstrual cycle, usually happening after the age of 55, but that can vary. And perimenopause is everything that leads up to that time, usually starting around the age of 35 to 40 in a woman's life. Common symptoms we begin to experience are digestive and bloating issues, weight loss resistance. So when you're 
consistently working out or eating in a way that you've always been eating and all of a sudden you're gaining weight unexpectedly. Maybe you begin to have brain fog in the afternoon or you don't have enough energy to get through the day. You're having cravings. And and some women even start to struggle with lower moods, lots of anxiety, and it makes the day-to-day harder to function. So anytime that you are in this window of 35 to 55, and you're wanting to feel healthier, or you're noticing that your body or how you feel in your body is keeping you back from accomplishing your regular daily life, chances are you're struggling with this hormone imbalance that we experience in perimenopause. So perimenopause really is this alert system to the habits in our body and how our body's whispering to us that is no longer working for us. At 37, I started experiencing the hormonal shifts of perimenopause. I was in this habit of waking up at 4.30 a.m., hustling through a very hard workout, pounding down some caffeine, and diving into my to-do list. Listening to my body in perimenopause meant allowing it to rest and sleep in a bit more, hearing that it was tired instead of cramming it with caffeine, and choosing movement that actually honored and respected my body instead of pushing it through things on a to-do list because I thought I had to. Where perimenopause was once taught to us as a time to be aging and to slow down, it's actually an opportunity that ushers us into womanhood to make the changes we need and fully respect truly the woman that we wanna become. Thank you, Bria, for this awesome insight. The stages of womanhood are pretty interesting. (laughs) Don't forget to follow the Period Whisperer for more amazing discussion about womanhood. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am Tierica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty News for Women.